When it comes to cybersecurity incidents, your company's endpoints are some of the most important IT assets you want to monitor and protect. The massive increase in remote work due to the COVID-19 pandemic brought a huge increase in cyber attacks and breaches, so it is of greatest importance to know what terms like EPP or EDR mean. Organizations must develop and implement a comprehensive endpoint security strategy that can deal with the sophisticated cybersecurity threats endpoints face. And a crucial part of this strategy is the implementation of an endpoint protection platform, EPP. So what is an endpoint protection platform? EPP portrays the proactive attitude, being represented by solutions that work together to detect and block security threats at the endpoint device level. It typically includes multiple endpoint protection technologies like antivirus, anti-malware, data encryption, firewalls, intrusion prevention, and data loss prevention. They can also provide investigation and remediation functionality in response to dynamic cybersecurity threats and alerts. Sophisticated EPP tools employ several detection methods and they are typically cloud managed and use cloud data. The most important features and capabilities of an endpoint protection platform solution are threat signatures, application control, threat intelligence integration, static analysis for suspicious binary files, behavioral analysis, artificial intelligence, and vulnerability management. But let's dig deeper and see how to choose the ideal endpoint protection platform. Making a list of all the existing endpoint security solutions in the company is the first step in selecting an endpoint protection platform. Organizations often discover they have multiple types of outdated security software. The solution is quite simple. An IT team can assess the current programs and determine which to keep and how they might work with an endpoint protection platform. Stay with me and discover the features you need to look for when choosing a leading endpoint protection platform. An endpoint protection platform vendor may include different tools and approaches for threat detection and remediation. Two technologies that are increasingly being integrated to endpoint security platforms are Endpoint detection and response, which monitors endpoint activities and saves data for future analysis. I will be covering this topic next week. Make sure you don't miss it. The second one is data loss prevention, which stops end users from sharing confidential information outside of the enterprise. For an EPP to detect and prevent zero-day attacks, it needs constant access to real-time threat data, both within the organization and globally. The endpoint protection platform vendor should provide access to a global database of ongoing threat activity. An endpoint protection platform should ideally be developed on a framework that allows information to be shared between security solutions, including third-party products that may already be installed in the company. A transparent architecture allows all endpoints and endpoint security technologies across the organization to be visible and controlled from a unified dashboard. In addition, the collaborative exchange of data between products can speed up the detection and remediation of possible threats. An endpoint protection platform should offer a unified dashboard for managing all endpoints and security capabilities. This provides visibility into both security and compliance issues and takes the burden off the IT departments of having to move from screen to screen manually analyzing threat data. A centralized panel should provide an intuitive, customizable dashboard with notifications, key KPIs, current security status, and the ability to delve deeper into individual endpoints and threats. As the volume of cyber attacks aimed at vulnerable endpoints continues to increase, the need for an effective endpoint security solution has never been more important. Right now, there is a lot of competition on the market between endpoint protection vendors offering varying technologies suited for different types of organizations. I hope I helped you and now that you know what to look for when it comes to such platforms, you can make a more informed decision. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, make sure you show us some support and like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next week when we continue the endpoint journey with EDR.